adire as it is popularly called in nigeria some call it tie and dye it is an age-long craft that has been passed down from generation to generation and it's still being done till this day my name is queen Uabufu, and you are welcome to another beautiful episode of crafty hands with queen my guest today is a sweet young lady who has taken this craft adire as a thing for herself after this break we are going to meet my guest stay tuned Welcome back. It's still Crafty Hands with Queen and I am still your host. My guest today is Onye Undu of Adire Fashion Place. She makes Adire fabrics and everything that is attached to Adire. Are you ready to meet my guest? Of course. Yes. Here is Onye. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I am so excited to have you here. You. Did you make this? Yes, I made this. She made this fabric. Amazing. Now, I'm just I'm really curious. How do you get this done? So this is tie-dye. So basically, Adire has two different types. So we have the tie-dye and we have right. the batik. So for it. this one is the tie-dye, um, this same pattern. So, so it's basically tied and dyed. So that's just tied the, and okay. dyed. That's the idea, tie yeah. and dye. Tied and, and dyed. dyed. Yes, you tie the fabric, then it dyes to, into different colors of your choice. You mentioned batik now. What's the difference? Yes, then we have the batik. So the batik one, instead of just tying it and dyeing it, you make use of wax. So you mix of wax. So the main idea in Adir is the dye to resist from getting into some parts of the fabric. Oh, that's so why like we tie it. Yeah, so that's why we tie it. So those parts we tie it, like this, the white that's parts. the white part. Forming something like a triangle. Oh. So you resisted those parts. That's the parts that we tied. So for, wow. the, for the batik, we make use of wax. So instead of tying, we just draw or sketch. Fantastic. Yes. So if I want a particular pattern, mm -hmm. I just need to call you, tell you the pattern I want, and then you use the wax. Yes, the wax method, pattern, of course, to do that. Mm -hmm. Did you learn this? Yes, I learned it. Actually, I'm a graduate of textile technology, Yaba College wow. of Technology. Yes. So after my national diploma program, yeah. I was supposed to go for a one-year IT program to go and learn. But as we all know, in Nigeria, our textile mm. industries are closed down. Wow. So I was like, okay, what else can I go into? What else can I learn for this period of one year? Yes. I thought about tailoring, but I was like, going for tailoring now, just a year. So I found a foundation, other foundation. So what they do is they train women hmm. on Adire for free. So I went Fantastic. for the training, and that was how I came about this business. Wow, that was what year? How, how that was in was 2017. That? And you've been doing that since 2017? Yes, I've been doing that since then. So how, how's, how's the market been? How is that about Nigerians? You know, how are they adapting to this? How are they receiving your market? Okay, so when I just started, though, there were not so many people compared to now that, you know, the fashion industry is like, okay, everyone wants to wear something handmade and mm -hmm. all that. So then it was just gradually coming in. So Adria has been like so many years ago before now. So it's not yes, just something yes, new. So it has been around so many years, but it goes and come. So mm. people just think it's kind of, you know, like fashion. This design comes and it, it rains, rains and, then and it fades goes. Away and so people are again. like, ah, this idea, is it still existing? That kind of thing. So, but when I started, people were not really doing it. So just very few in the market. So I started gradually, the market started picking up and like that. You know, when you just start a business, you don't just expect people to just run of to course, you. Of course, it takes time. Exactly, it takes you time. You need to build trust as exactly. well. Exactly, you need to build trust and all that. And... When I started, you just you know online presence and everyone, you first of all need to trust the person you want to buy from. You can't just transfer money without knowing who you mm -hmm. want to, right, who you right. are transacting with. Right. So, so it was not really like a smooth thing. Journey and Nigeria, the Nigeria factor of getting material, like mm -hmm. every material we make is of comes from outside the country. Wow. Do you exactly. personally order them or do you buy from someone no, I would buy, we have a dye shop that just sells basically dye stuffs the wax and how many and of them are in nigeria there are very few that's another wow. yeah that's another disadvantage we have like a particular company just took, took hold of the dye market monopoly. yeah monopoly so you can't mm -hmm. just get it anywhere wow. exactly you can't just get say you want to order it online they will even tell you we already have someone in nigeria so you have to I buy from, from that, that person, person. So that's like one of the challenges that we're having. And whenever we go there today, they tell you the price have inflicted. You have no choice. You just have to buy from them because there's no any other place. And it place. will affect your own price. Yes. There's no other place you can buy from. So 
That's how it has been. Since we're already talking about challenges now, what other challenges are you having? Um, this is a very unique craft. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at what you're doing and it's, I'm seeing so many colors. It's amazing how you're able to blend the colors, know what should come where. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. I don't think any machine can do this. Are there? Mm, basically, there are machines that do it, but you know, the difference will be there. Right. So yeah, it won't come out the same way as handmade. Right. Yeah, so it because won't come out just, the same it way. It looks pretty calculated mm -hmm. and really nice. So yeah. what other challenges do you have in your industry right now? Besides sourcing for materials, we also have the human factor because it's handmade. So, you know, everything we do 100% handmade. We don't use any machine until maybe when you want to now iron the fabric. Even iron, you still have to use your hand to start of ironing course, like 500 yards of fabric right. and all wow. that. So, everything is basically handmade. So, you have to get so many people that are experienced in doing this because mm -hmm. once you apply the dye on the fabric, if the person is not well experienced, it has damaged the fabric. Right. That's another challenge. And also, you it's know, price factor. Time. Yes, it takes a lot of time. Price factor also. Customers are like, why will I buy a DVD when Ankara is just 2000 For Naira. CCR. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So they don't really want to understand the raw material issue. And the effort, the effort and the time that, yes, that, that we're putting this. into it to produce this. You can't compare human being to machine. You know, the machine, you can just press a few buttons and the whole thing prints out. For humans, we have to take our time to tie. After time, right. you die. After right. dying, you start losing. And then there's the creativity part exactly. as well. Exactly. You have to think about the design. design. You know, like a customer calls you and like, okay, I want to have a butterfly custom design. You're like, okay, you start thinking, thinking what about, about butterflies? How would you place the butterflies on the fabric? How would it come out? Okay, what colors? What colors would blend together? You wouldn't just want to put different colors that when it comes, everybody's like, who is this one on the road? So you would like to like think and everything. So there's so many things that comes into the production, but when you now produce, people are like, why is it this price? Why is this expensive? Why is it this? They don't understand that so it's handmade. And handmade, so much uh, effort has gone into it. Personally, I see a market in this. I really see a huge yeah. market in this if it's unnest well. Exactly. So uh, let me ask you, if money and time were not an issue, mm -hmm. let's say for instance, if someone wants to give you five million naira, or even more, if money and time were not an issue, what would be your dream project? Okay, so if money and time was not an issue, the next step is to get my own factory. Mm. Obviously, yeah, to get my own factory because there's so many adware makers after learning, they can't find where to work. Mm. You know, they'll say, ah, where I'm working, my landlord won't allow me to do this kind of craft there, blah, blah, blah. So you get a factory, and once you get a factory that is very accessible, there are so many of them that will just come in and, you know, and start working with you. And another thing is customers also, they like to like see what, where you're doing, what you're doing. Well, they can sure also come factory. in, yes, they can also come the in, production you can sites. do exhibitions, they'll come and see mm. your, you know, even the white people, when they come, you know, they see everything, see what you're doing and see all the steps and how everything is made. They're like, wow, and it creates more awareness for the brand. So that's like yeah, getting a factory, like there's no really a standard factory yet, yet that is in just Nigeria. for Adire. See why I said there's a market so that's there. It, yes. There is a huge market there. There sure is a market all there. All right, now before we go on, we're going to take a quick break and we'll see some of Uye's Adira creations. And when we come back, we'll have our games.
welcome back. It's still Crafty Hands with your host, of course, Queen. And I still have my guest in the house, Onye of Adira Fashion Place. Now we are going over to our game time. It's my favorite segment of the show. Now this is how it's going to work. I'll tell okay. you what to do, mm -hmm. right? So if you do it well, correctly, and you get it to at least have page, <laughs> you get a gift. If not, I will collect your gift. Hmm. Do we have a deal? Uh. <laughs> do we have a deal please answer me we have a deal please i will mm. take my gift mm. let me hear the questions first. Ah, okay all right so this is what you're going to do for me okay you will say crafty for 30 seconds without losing a breath just you say crafty and you say for 30 <laughs> seconds okay are we ready to time her now yeah we are are you ready Okay, guys, let's go. One, two, three, and go. Crafty. timing you okay actually. they were timing you over there so that's fine thank you so much you're for welcome your thank you for having me and yes you're still gonna have your gift okay on behalf of our sponsors and our partners we want to say thank you for coming on the show thank you thank you for doing what you do thank you crafty please stay in your craft screen. this is an amazing craft and yeah. i see it going somewhere sooner or later soon mm -hmm. it's going to blow up Amen. And you'll be glad you stayed there. Thank yeah. you so much for what you do. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. And to all my viewers at home, thank you so much for watching Crafty Hands with Queen. And of course, drop a like, drop a comment, and share to your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And to our amazing sponsors and partners, we want to say thank you. Thank you for allowing us to do this. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you so much. We love you. We're grateful. Till I come your way again next time, keep dazzling. <laughs>